You are watching and listening to Night Sounds. Oh my God. Barry Funkhauser here with Joe. Hello, welcome back. And you know, Joe, I'm on I don't video. Know if you've, um, you're here on video. We're all getting used to this whole <laughs> new world of being oh, on man. video. If so you're fun. listening on your car radio, you should know that we have a YouTube channel. It's called Night Sounds, I think, and you'll be able to see it <laughs> as yeah, it happens live. It's, it's We're a little ahead of Night it. Sounds. It's production here, I would say. Might be, in, might like, be in the Barry and Joe show channel. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. It'll be somewhere. But, you know, I wanted to show you the sphere in Vegas. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, Chase was talking with us about this the other day, and it's freaking awesome okay tell people what the sphere is because i know what the sphere is do you it's do, the new do, um, you know what the sphere is yeah it's the madison square garden concert venue that they built that has an led ball around it that may or may not have been waterproof because it started glitching during the last weather storm which is very funny <laughs> oh but they okay so that's one thing i didn't i didn't know this is owned by msg yeah msg yeah. actually mm -hmm. built this yeah not yeah. MGM. That's different. MSG, Madison Square Garden Entertainment. Well, MSGE. It's Madison called the Square MSG. Yeah, it's the MSG Sphere is the actual name of Interesting. the Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, and I liked what what have you what have you particularly seen on this? I mean, we haven't been out to Vegas uh live yet. We're gonna do that and take some video and stuff when Chase is around. Chase is our videographer, by the way. He's a really nice guy. Lives in Vegas. Anyway, yeah. what video do of the sphere have you seen that you like the most? Because I know what I know my video, the one that I like the most. But what which one have That's you the thing, liked I, the most? I was gonna show you some, but it's so boring during the day that, that it's just like oh, a beach yeah, ball yeah, yeah. or the, something. The, the yeah, but the like, day the day isn't all that great. They had the sun earlier this morning coming up, and it's it was okay. cool the last few days that it's been on. But um, I don't know. I, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. The eyeball kind of creeps me out, but there's um, it's a good I, way to show fan. art. I'm not a big fan of the oh they they did do the the Sauron eyeball the the Lord of the Rings eyeball from the movie. Oh, um, yeah. that's creepy. Have you seen that one? Because that one's no, creepy. No. No. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, oh! Just, just type in, just type in, um, sphere, uh, eye of Sy Sauron. S a u r o n, eye of Sauron, sphere, and then it'll bring it up. Um, but yeah, it's like the eye with the flames around it and stuff. That's not my favorite. That one's creepy, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is when they do any of the sp any of the space stuff. And literally any of the space stuff. Show me galaxies. They had one where it was like, um, like Star Trek type ships battling and stuff. Really cool stuff. I want to know, like, who does the production of that, and and how long does that take? I want to, Barry. That is what I'm going to task you with. Figure out who does that, and let's talk to them because that's really cool. I want to know how long it takes for them to program a one hour segment on the sphere because usually when you're, when you're doing programming like that, it's, it's, it's on a flat surface. These guys got to, they got to program the entire 360 realm sphere thing. So how many people does that take? How long does it take to get it done? And how many resources are needed to make something cool like that? Cause it's pretty cool. Good questions. I'm sure we'll get the answers to them at some point. Somebody to go over there with the microphone and the camera and say, what's that do? See, that's why we need Chase to get out there and like, and, and punch and try to get some people. Get us, get us on uh -huh. camera. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it doesn't give I'm me sorry, any. Uh, just, I, oh, go ahead. It doesn't give me any more incentive to want to go to Vegas, though. That's not pulling me there. And maybe if there's a oh, good show oh, at no, that definitely. place. No, I'm not. Um, I just think about all the people. Oh. I just think about all the people that are playing top golf right next to it, and how distracting it is. Uh, with a big giant orb glowing when you're trying to hit the 400 or something. If you're, because that's where it is. If you're, from what if I you're playing a top golf, right you don't to care it. anyway. If you're playing a <laughs> top golf, you don't care anyway. You're you're going to top golf to get hammered 
and listen to music really loud and get some frustrations out by swinging a golf club. That's it. You, you're not okay. going to Top Golf to be like, you know, I'm going to go to Top Golf and I'm going to really practice and I'm going to get really good on my driver. No, no, you're going to Top. You're going to Top Golf, and the first thing you're going is like, get me a waitress because I want a drink. That's like the first <laughs> thing you do at Top Golf. You're not like. Yes, I'd like to speak to someone about my game, and I would like to have a, an instructor come out and teach me how to use my driver correctly. No, you don't care about that stuff. So, no, I don't. I don't. I don't care about Top Golf. I agree that the sphere is not something that is driving me to go to Vegas. It'll be cool to look at when I get to Vegas, or if there is a good show playing at the sphere, that might get me there. But but the but the entire spectacle itself that's not getting me to Vegas. Um, yeah. And I, I'm actually wondering about that because Vegas has been trying. And this is what they do. This is what Vegas does every every decade, right? Someone tries to bring the new spectacle out. First, it was like the big big mega casinos. That was the first spectacle. Then it was like, oh, let's get like the the top artists in the entire world to play a residency here and then everybody has to come to vegas right um then it was like let's make the, the huge pools and the lazy rivers and like that was the next spectacle i guess this visual stuff is like the next iteration of that but have we all gotten to a point where that kind of spectacle doesn't really matter anymore are we all just desensitized to that because I know I am. It doesn't, that stuff doesn't phase me anymore. It doesn't like make me want to get out of my chair and like hop a plane to Vegas. I guess we'll see. I mean, it's still in its infancy. So I don't know how much they can do with that thing, but we'll find out. I mean, you could have like really cool, like the one cool thing is like when the concert is going on inside, them projecting the concert to the video screen outside. That's really cool. And then they, and, and, you know, Hey, maybe top golf can take advantage and just like have viewing parties and stuff from the top. They should golf put a location. target on it. They should put a target on it and make it like 10,000 points. <laughs> that is, that's actually, you know what? That actually brings up a really interesting point. What if people start either shooting at the sphere or throwing stuff, trying to break the sphere? Like, has that I'm happened sure got already? I would, I would, it. I would not be surprised if that thing's already been shot at. Yeah. Well, look people for the do little crazy people do crazy shit in Vegas. So I yeah. would not be surprised. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for now. This is night sounds. <laughs>